everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, today we're diving into a topic that's tough to talk about but important to address. Eight suspicious signs your girl might be cheating on you. Look, relationships are built on trust, and when that trust is broken, it can be incredibly painful. Now, before we get started, remember these signs aren't definitive proof of anything, but they can be red flags that something's off in your relationship. The first sign we're gonna unpack here is a sudden change in communication. You know how it is when you're close to someone, right? You talk, you text, you share things. But when infidelity enters the picture, that communication can change dramatically. She might start being distant, not replying to your texts like she used to or avoiding your calls altogether. Maybe she used to be glued to her phone texting you back within minutes, but now it's radio silence for hours, maybe even days. Now this shift in communication, it's not just about the frequency of texts or calls, it's about the emotional depth too. If you notice she's less interested in having deep conversations, sharing her day with you like she used to, that's a big sign something's up. When someone's emotionally invested elsewhere, they tend to pull back from the people they're already close to. It's not always conscious, but it's a pattern you gotta pay attention to. Alright, the second sign we need to talk about is her phone. Now, everyone's entitled to their privacy, right? But when it comes to relationships, trust is a two-way street. If she's suddenly more protective of her phone than she is of her purse, that's a red flag. I'm talking about never letting that phone out of her sight, even when she's in the shower or sleeping. And it's not just about physical possession either. It's about how she reacts when you're around her phone. Does she quickly flip it face down when you walk in the room? Does she get defensive or dismissive when you ask about who she's texting? This kind of behavior, it screams of guilt and secrecy. Now, it doesn't automatically mean she's cheating, but it's a sign that something's off and you need to address it. Now let's talk about appearances. It's natural for people to want to look good, right? But when someone makes a drastic change to their appearance out of the blue, it can be a sign that they're trying to impress someone new. Has she suddenly started dressing up more than usual, spending more time on her hair and makeup? Maybe she's hitting the gym more often, buying new clothes, and you're left wondering, who's she doing this for? Now, self-improvement is great, don't get me wrong. But if it comes out of nowhere and she's not doing it for you or for herself, it might be for someone else. Pay attention to when she's putting in this extra effort. Is it when she's going out without you? Is it when she knows she'll be around a certain someone? This could be a sign that she's trying to catch someone's eye, and it's not yours. Chapter 4, Decreased Intimacy The fourth sign we need to address is a tough one, but we gotta keep it real here. Decreased intimacy. And I'm not just talking about physical intimacy, although that's a big part of it. I'm talking about emotional intimacy, too. When a woman starts to pull away emotionally and physically, it's a major red flag. Maybe she's just not as affectionate as she used to be, not as touchy-feely. Or maybe she avoids spending quality time with you altogether. Now I understand, everyone goes through phases where they need some space. But a sudden and unexplained drop in intimacy, that's a different story. It could mean she's getting that intimacy and connection from someone else. And that's a hard pill to swallow, but ignoring it won't make it go away. Chapter 5. She's always busy. Let's talk about the classic excuse, I'm busy. Now we all have busy lives, right? Jobs, friends, commitments. But when someone's constantly using busy as an excuse to avoid spending time with you, that's a problem. Is she working late more often? Is she suddenly hanging out with friends you've never even heard of? Or maybe she's picking up new hobbies that conveniently don't include you. Now it's one thing to have a full life, but it's another thing to be too busy for your partner. When someone's truly committed to a relationship, they make time for the person they care about. If her schedule is packed and she's not making time for you like she used to, it could mean her priorities have shifted and you're not at the top of the list anymore. Chapter 6. This next sign is a little more subtle, but it's important to pick up on her friends start acting weird around you. Now, friends are usually a good gauge of what's going on in someone's life. They're the ones who hear all the gossip, see all the signs. So if they start acting differently around you, it could be a sign that they know something you don't. Maybe they avoid eye contact like they're hiding something. Maybe they're overly nice to you, almost too nice like they feel guilty. Or maybe you catch them whispering when you're not supposed to hear and they clam up when you walk in the room. This kind of behavior, it's like they're walking on eggshells around you and that's never a good sign. 
Chapter 7. Now this next sign is a classic manipulation tactic, picking fights over nothing. When someone is feeling guilty or trying to justify their own bad behavior, they often try to shift the blame onto someone else. So, if she's suddenly picking fights with you over little things, things that never used to bother her before, it could be a sign that she's trying to create distance or justify her own guilt. These fights, they come out of nowhere, blow up over the smallest things and leave you feeling drained and confused. It's like she's looking for a reason to be angry with you, a reason to push you away. Now, it's important to remember that communication is key in any relationship. But when constant arguments over minor issues become the norm, it's time to step back and ask yourself, what's really going on here? Chapter 8. This last sign is the most important one, your gut feeling. Look, you know your partner better than anyone else. You know her habits, her quirks, her tells. So, if you have a nagging feeling that something isn't right, don't ignore it. Your intuition is a powerful tool, my friend. It can pick up on subtle cues and inconsistencies that your conscious mind might miss. It's that little voice inside your head saying, something's off here, even if you can't quite put your finger on it. Now, I'm not saying to jump to conclusions and accuse her of cheating just because you have a bad feeling, but if you're noticing these signs and something just doesn't feel right, it's okay to trust yourself. Talk to her about it. Communicate your concerns openly and honestly. And if she's not willing to address those concerns, well, that speaks volumes. So what do you do if you notice these signs? The first step is to have an open and honest conversation with her. Don't accuse, just express your concerns and see how she responds. It's important to approach the situation calmly and without jumping to conclusions. Remember, communication is key, and sometimes, just talking things through can clear the air. If she's not being truthful or you're still feeling uneasy after the conversation, it might be time to reevaluate the relationship. Do you really want to be with someone who isn't being honest with you, someone who isn't putting in the same effort as you are? Remember, you deserve someone who's just as committed to you as you are to them. Someone who respects you enough to be truthful, no matter what. Alright, that's it for today's video. I know this was a heavy topic, but sometimes we need to face these things head on. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with someone who might need it, and subscribe for more content like this. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.